Today's video, we are filming a little bit early because it is gonna be Mother's Day weekend this weekend and we have plans. So we're filming today, it's Thursday evening. What just gave you the heebie-jeebies, Eleanor? A bug. A bug. <laughs> oh, she was messing around at her fairy garden and started wiggling all over. What is it? Come show me. Where's it at? It flew into that. Oh, it flew in there? Gosh, these irises, they're so pretty. These. Yeah, we're gonna get your zinnias planted in just a minute. You got some ants in here, but it's not too bad. This is, I call this grandmother's moss. Um, I'm pretty sure it came from an ant, actually, but I've always called it grandmother's moss. Um, and then this is, that's one too, that your great-grandmother, my grandmother, gave to us. And I have it in a bunch of containers. I love it. And it blooms those pretty yellows. And you can just pull them off. And here, Eleanor, stick it down in I there. I would like one right here. You would like one to but grow right I'm gonna there? But I'm going to give one to my duck. Well, my, dogs like, my duck likes mint. Yes, the ducks love to eat mint. So and those one ducks one. over there have been eating all the mint out of those. Uh, planters, which that's what it's there for. It's for them. <laughs> take it in there. Take it over there for them. But I love this stuff because it's so easy to propagate. It's in the succulent family. You just you can break it off and stick it in the ground and it'll grow. But we're filming early. Zach is cutting grass. I am going to work on um, clearing around our fig tree and I've got an area over here I want to plant. We have so much planting to do. Um, my quietness roses are blooming. Beautiful. And my Julia Child roses are too. And I think our irises are done. I think they are completely done. These are the big bearded irises. And then this is daylilies. I can't remember if they're orange or if those some of those are like the um, burgundy color. But there's weeding and everything to do everywhere. Just lots and lots. Um, this area, we're going to spray out here to try to kill some of this off. Because um, it takes over so quickly, all these weeds. But this area, it had five knockout rose bushes when we moved in and this one is not doing very well over here and this one has pretty much died we think but this one and this one look really good um, and we cut them back really far every year otherwise they would be up above the rails and they will be by the end of the summer but I don't know what I want to do right here I don't know. I don't know what I'm wanting to plant. And it's kind of odd to have this type of spacing, I feel like. So, I'm going to take both of those out. And that one's not doing good. We might as well take it out. I want to do something here. If you have any ideas, let me know. It gets taken over by this monkey grass. The monkey grass was grown all the way out here when we moved in. I didn't even realize that there was patio under it. And I, I got out here one day and started pulling on it because I was going to pull it up. And it just came up in a mat. Like a whole mat of monkey grass. <laughs> I was like, oh! There's this stone under here. So I cleaned it up and it's pretty much just stayed. Um, we've let the monkey grass just keep going. And it's only been almost three years now. It'll be three years this fall. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to do something. We thought we were going to extend the porch and cover the porch, but we're just in that, not to that point yet. And I'm tired of it looking like this. So, hey, Miss Moon. Miss Moon spots over here. What you doing, girl? Hey. Say, I'm on my bug hunt. Finding all the yummy things. 
So if you have any suggestions on what you think we should plant there or do there, let me know. But this area is one that I have already worked on. We had a big bush right here of, um, I think it was called like sugar grass or sweet grass maybe. Um, but it was huge and it hung over and I told Zach, we, it's time to go. So we set it on fire. <laughs> it never looked nice and I cleared this whole area it had tons of monkey grass I moved some right there as kind of a perimeter but I want to do stone over there and I'm probably gonna curve it Probably gonna make this bed pretty big hey moon um yeah I'm probably gonna curve it and make it pretty big and I think the camellia is gonna go here this one came from Petals from the Past. Uh, Zach picked it up with Jason and Tracy. But I have so many things to plant. <laughs> so many things. So many bulbs, so many seeds. And I'm just hung up on where to put things. But I need to just put things in the ground. We've been doing pots. For the past two years, we've done pots. And this is doing really well. I think this is purple salvia. Or just salvia and it's beautiful. Um, it came back from last year. And I think I had two plants in here. Maybe three. Yeah, that's one. And this is one. And that's one over there. That's nice. But the chickens just get in here and kick up all this mulch. This used to be three huge pompous grass. Used to be three across here, maybe four, when we first moved in. We bought the property. And we've left one, but I'm about to dig it out. It's leaving. I can't stand these things. Um, they just take up space and block views and I really like our views Especially from the back porch or in the house. I want to be able to see where the animals are and I want to be able to see the plants that we love And the chickens have also been kicking all of my mulch out of this area. Look at all this <laughs> But I'm thinking I'm gonna put one of my climbing roses here on an arch Maybe build something um, we're planning to take this pergola down to the pond. I'm ready to have it down there. And we don't use it up here. We don't, we don't use it. It's, it's just here. Um, so I'm thinking some type of arbor or building something right here to have a climbing rose on because I have like six climbing roses I need to plant. Uh, I just love them. They're beautiful and they fill in and they smell good and they make me happy. Make all of us happy. Zach loves them. So I think that's what I want to do here. But first up, I'm going to dig this big old thing out. But the chickens are, are digging my mulch out. Look at that. Bare spots. See, this is a whole area that I can put something in. And there's gravel under that, um, under that landscape fabric. You can kind of see some of it over here. There's a lot of gravel. I'm not sure if that was done for drainage because all this was already here. But we have a lot of space that we can do some pretty things. It's just deciding what it is. Zach likes to say, you can do anything you want. You just have to know what that is. <laughs> Before shot. So I very quickly have decided I'm gonna do it differently this time. I'm not gonna try to dig it out. It has a ton of rocks under it. Not just gravel, it's got like big rocks that were used in our landscape edging. I'll show you. And that has very obviously grown over rocks that were put there originally. So I've got the truck and I'm gonna go get the chains. I'm gonna pull it out. Eleanor is safely inside with Zach right now got my chains. I've got a nosy chicken. Moon. Moon. You gotta go away. You gotta go away. You're gonna get hurt. Shoo shoo. And I have nosy ducks. Shoo ducks. I gotta go. Shoo. Shoo ducks. 
chew ducks. And I'm gonna go ahead and close up the chick house so that we don't have any unfortunate happenings. <laughs> and they know the drill. All right, I'll come back out here in a minute. Uh-oh, left one. Come on, go that way. Go in, go in. There you go. I gave myself some more clearance, put up the babies, move the truck again. I don't have a lot of clearance over here with these, and I don't care anything about these irises. We've tried to kill them, I don't know how many times now. There is a company called Hesia who sent us some boots to test out and review. And in all honesty, I needed them and I put them on and I put them to work immediately. They are supposed to be green. We also have a burgundy pair, but they are outdoor garden boots. I love them. I have wider calves and so I cannot wear the more narrow boots that come up to your knees or like even mid calf. I need lower boots and these are so, so comfortable. Um, I do recommend going down a size or a half size um, because they are a little big in the women's sizes at least, but I really, really like them and they are so dirty already. <laughs> These are the Mid-Calf Rubber Garden Boots in green. They have many other colors and styles. They even have boots with chickens on them. So head to the Hesia website if you want to check these out. And you can use code FARMFRIENDS for 15% off your order. And use that link down below. And it does help our farm as we receive a small commission on sales. Now let's get back to work. All right, let's see if this works. I really hope it does. GoPro's okay. <laughs> Whoo! Got a lot of the roots out just then before the chain slipped off. I did take out the irises that I said I didn't care about, so I don't care about them. Good deal. All right, let's do that again. It, it's gone. Finally. Took me a few tries. It was in there really good. Look how many roots it left behind. So now I get to dig that out. To dig it out. There's some of the rocks. I guess that was the one I was hitting. This stuff. Ooh, if you have erosion problems, this stuff is great. But that's not really a problem here. Got it done. This is the spot that I wanted to put the camellia. And I'm not 100% sold on if that's what I should do. But I think it would be beautiful right here because here's the silky coop and the chick house and we're gonna do something in between them and we're gonna do some raised beds in the front of um, the silky house because it gets great sun there and I'm gonna do a rose trellis up onto the chick house and I think right here this sight line from the back door I think it would be a great place I'm gonna have to get Tracy Brittnell at Just to Get Farms opinion She's going to be coming over soon. We're going to work on some website and social media stuff for her. I'm super excited, but she's going to come over. And that's supposed to like, when you're going to have people over at your place. Um, I'm Southern. I'm a Southern woman. And I was taught that things need to be in order and you need to have a very presentable house. And for me, 
that carries over to the outside <laughs> and I know it looks like we have a pretty clean place and we do because I am that way but there's always something that you're like oh I wish somebody wouldn't see that but um, I read a book uh, not too long ago called Present Over Perfect. It's a devotional book. It's really good. I recommend it to anybody, but it's exactly that. It's about that being present. Your presence matters more than things being perfect because nothing is ever perfect. That perfection doesn't exist, not, not in us. Um, so it, it's a great book and I try to remember that when I'm gonna have people over, I try. Um, but it's hard. I got keys in my hand. <laughs> I need to take them inside before I lose them because I'm, I'm prone to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I think Eleanor and I are going to get to work out here. Let's see what she thinks about what mommy did. Why do we want to get this see, there's stuff under here. Look at this. Look. It's like pavers or something. Would you like me to help? I have my Look at that. No wonder I couldn't dig. No wonder I couldn't get the shovel down in here to dig it up. I'm glad I used the truck. That's some kind of root. I wonder if it just keeps going around or does it end here? No. Look. All right there. I mean, there's a paper over there. Yeah. So I guess it just continues around. Always learning something new about the about the farm property. Because <laughs> I, I kept doing this. I tried to get my shovel like under things and that's just a root ball, I think. Right there. That's what it looks like. like a piece of a worm. No, it's not. Alright, Eleanor, you gotta move, baby. Yeah, get back there. Okay. This is an after shot. Did you get an egg basket? I got three. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll need all three, but, but who knows? There's going to be a bunch of eggs, so I got one from Mommy. In case Mommy needs one, she decides she don't want to dig it all up. But let me turn my hat around. Okay. And Daddy, I got you a blue one. I got a yellow one. All right. We ready to go get eggs? <laughs> yeah. You're holding the camera, so I'll do all the eggs this time. Okay. If you need me to hold the camera to get eggs, I'll... Uh, let's start with the selfie. I'm sure the selfie has some. I'm really sure the silkies have some. You sure the silkies have because eggs? I didn't collect one, and so I'm sure there's a bunch more. Look at all the babies in here. They are crazy. Oh my goodness. Bon here, bon why don't you go down to just one basket there so that they don't... Bon Bon laid an egg! Awesome! <laughs> she, you were right, she did have an egg shot. But... Do you see all the babies? I do see all oh, the babies. Oh my goodness, I do there's another. Look at all my babies. I'm going to show you one of my Polish shoes. So. There's the little Polish Brizzle. Well, I will show you him. She's my Polish. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah. She goes fast. I 
didn't see any more eggs. Alrighty. So let's go. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, Eleanor has had a long and full day, and so she wanted to head inside. And we are about to head inside for dinner. Uh, we've got a nice sunset out here tonight, but clouds are coming in. We can hear some thunder, so we're going to head in. It is actually Cinco de Mayo, so we are going to be having tacos for dinner tonight. Uh, but I've got to head out here and get these last few eggs before we head in. And Jacqueline says that there is a special egg out here uh, that Eleanor just might have to show y'all when we get inside. So I'm gonna go see what we've got in the nest boxes and we'll get back to you. Alrighty, I got our eggs. And just like Jacqueline said, there was a special one in there. See if you can see which one the special one is before Eleanor shows us. Which one do you think it is in there? Can you figure it out? There's one special one in there and Eleanor's gonna show you basically a magic trick with it. Eleanor ended up getting too tired yesterday to show you her magic egg, but if you look at this egg, it looks kind of green, gray, like it has scratches all over it. And here is our magic trick. So, when we put water on this egg, look at that. It completely changes color. So this is a black copper marron's egg, and it had on it what we call a heavy bloom. It's also a little dirty, but it has a heavy bloom, which is the last layer that is applied to the egg before it leaves the hen's reproductive system. And if the egg spins a little bit longer than usual, maybe she couldn't find a good spot to lay her egg, um, then it spends a little bit more time in there and the bloom is applied heavier. And as this egg dries, I'll do a little time lapse so you can see how it changes back to that chalky greenish gray color. Um, but the bloom is also called cuticle. A lot of people think that it contains calcium, but it does not. Um, I will look up what all it contains, um, but it is the protective layer that keeps um, any germs from being able to penetrate the eggshell because eggshells are porous and it blocks up those little porous holes and it protects the egg farm friends it has been another awesome time hanging out with y'all thank you so much for being here we so appreciate the opportunity to share our joy with you and all of the beautiful things that we get to experience around here so thank you for being here if you enjoyed this video hit the like button so that other people know that it's worth watching um, and we'll see you next time thanks so much for being here farm friends have a good one